Well, good afternoon and welcome to this weekend's weekend webcast here from your friends at Martin Edge & Sons in Stones. I'm Jonathan M0JSX and it's nice to be with you on uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday the 6th of November. Uh, it is uh, great to be with you uh, on uh, well, the day after a bonfire. No, I don't know, many of you might be having your bonfire celebrations tonight. I certainly know that I am with the, the local bonfire display around the fireworks train near me. I'm still so looking forward to doing that. And this afternoon, I've uh, got a few products to uh, have a look at, uh, as uh, well as I uh, have a quick look around the use section as well. And of course, as we always say, this is your opportunity uh, to virtually visit the showroom here in Stones. If you can't come down uh, in person, of course, we are open now, as we have been for a long time. If you want to have a peruse and a browse, but if you can't make it, if you're just too physically far away, this is your opportunity. Uh, we will, of course, uh, be here with you every Saturday uh, doing this and we will uh, get uh, get anything you want us to show you um, out in front of you. Uh, a few hellos, hello to, to Ray and 0 mxn who says afternoon, hello to you Ray uh, and uh, to Andrew who is M0BND, uh, uh, a very good afternoon to you as well Andrew of course. So do feel free to, to say hello uh, in the chat as, as that, uh, and he just says M7XXT um, who's asking about availability of the Buddy Pole Buddy Heads? I'm afraid no news uh, at the moment regarding the UK availability of the Buddy Pole uh, Buddy Heads. As far as I'm aware, um, I've certainly not heard anything, so uh, as far as I'm aware, it's still uh, to be seen. Uh, Chris uh, M7MXM, very good afternoon to you. Um, shall we um, get a, a quick a look at a few products, I'll get my teeth finished at some point. Um, let's start with a radio that we've been doing for a little while now. And we always come back to it every so often just to, to mention it, to give it a, um, to remind you of the fact that it exists. Uh, and to say that we've got them in stock. Well, they, they always go through a period of being out of stock and, and at the moment we do have them in stock and it's the uh, Sun uh, SDR2 Pro from Expert Electronics. Um, if you've never come across one of these before, so this is a fully fledged uh, SDR transceiver for HF 6 and 2 meters. Now, this does 20 watts. So if you're going to either, either A, run it as QRP, and you can perfectly do that, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't necessarily need any more power than 20 watts. But should you want to have more power, then you can run it into an amplifier. Uh, you could run it with one of those new Zygo amplifiers, perhaps, to get 100 watts out. Uh, or maybe team with something like an ACOM and have a little bit more out, uh, even so. Uh, they are in stock available now. Uh, they are brilliant because unlike other SDR transceivers on the market, uh, I'm not going to name any names, but their name starts with an F. Just put it out there. Um, there is native software from Expert Electronics for both Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, I know that with the Flex stuff, obviously, you know, there is uh, a native application for Windows. Uh, there is an application for Mac, but you do have to purchase that separately, and that is a, that's not cheap. So, but with Expert Electronics, native software for both Mac and Windows, particularly, and also Linux as well. Um, and it works nicely. Um, oh, apparently I've got a week order. Anyone else complaining about my order? I'm going to have a quick look at the microphone. Now, I did see my um, my mic was complaining. It looks okay to me. Uh, anyone else want to give me a quick audio report? I can try and up my level. Um, maybe that's better. Please feel free to... I, I don't want to overdrive your ears. Um, if, if there are any issues with your ears, please let me know. Uh, but John just saying that. Uh, afternoon to... Oh, there you go. Thank you, Andy. Five plus. Thanks very much. Um, let's have a look. See. Uh, Grandpa Piper Mike, uh, who's Mike is with an SM5 uh, Whiskey... Papa Whiskey. Uh, apparently I'm quiet. I, I, okay, I... I don't know what's happening. We'll, we'll leave it as it is. I don't want to break it. Um, uh, Ellis, uh, 2E0EWM. Hello to you. Good afternoon. Um... Audio when next to the phone is perfect. He shouldn't be using the phone. Oh, if he's using the phone, he's doing something wrong. Oh, this is uh, this is this is baffling now. Uh, I I don't know. I I've n I've no idea. It, uh, baffled, absolutely baffled. I can't explain it. I love it when when technology doesn't work. I just shout a bit. If I shout a bit louder, that work. Uh, <laughs> uh, is, I've taken it out and plugged it back in. Is that work? Hang on, John, is that working now? Can you hear me fine? Good, right, okay, fine, it's all working, good. Um, 
Um, so yeah, Sun SDR 2 Pro, it's not clear. Um, also sorry, he mentioned John, one of his favourite products uh, is the Diamond MGC50, and yes, I did have to um, have a quick look at the, the part number. So, if you've not come across this before, if you live somewhere where routing cable is, or routing price is not particularly easy, you don't, can't be drilling holes everywhere, or necessarily don't want to be drilling holes through your walls, uh, the MGC50 is brilliant because it goes three windows, so it's designed as a pretty much a flat bit of coax, as you can see there. It's got an SO2399 either side, so you can use this to go through a window. Now, it does come with some limitations. You can only run 50 watts of FM through this. Um, it does quote 50 watts FM and CW on HF to 6 metres, 40 watts on 2, 30 watts on 70 cents, 10 watts on 23 cents. Now, I suspect if it's quoting 50 watts on FM, running 100 watts on SSB is probably going to be okay. But please don't quote me on that. Gary's now come to have a look. I, I, is everyone's having a look at the, the audio setup yeah, there? Yeah, it's working. Is it working all right, Gary? Is, yeah, is it's coming your... out of there. Okay, cool. That's your um, your assessment of the situation. <laughs> well, but it sounds weird. It so just... sounds weird? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll blame the microphone. <laughs> it's not my microphone. It's my phone, but it's not my microphone. Uh, <laughs> masquerading in the background. Gaz Lutz on uh, YouTube, if you want to uh, look him up. There you go, Gary, got a plug. Um, sorry, MGC50 in stock available. Um, let's have a look. See, apparently Gary is five nine plus. It's, it's something with the microphone. I don't know. I don't know. The the only other thing I do is unplug the whole thing. Oh, this is it's going to be stop this stream. Hello, I'm going to be closer to the microphone so you can hear me now. I'm going to be closer to the microphone. Um, let's have a look. See, I'm I've no idea whether it will or not. I wonder if it will. Who knows? Who knows? Gar Gary's going to come and have a look as well. Um, it just sounds, I find it sounds like, but I, right, this is the weird thing. If the thing is plugged in, it shouldn't I'm use really the... Oh, I've just done that as well. I have plugged that, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're, de we're definitely on the internal mic now. We can't not be. That's... And iPhones. It's five phone iPhones. Yes, yes. Just talk about yourselves, everybody. How's your week been? Uh, do anything nice? We have for dinner last night. It's, this is not what you... You come here for, for top quality content and you come and we... I have no idea. Someone give me an order report, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks, Gary. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. It, you know what? It works brilliant, but apparently the lapel mic is definitely not working. It's switched on. Oh, apparently we've got a hurrah. Who knows? Um... Uh, oh, apparently, um, according to Richard, Inverness was great. Excellent, Richard. See you back here on Monday. Um, actually, I had a conversation with Richard just the other day. It's Chuckle Vision. Hello to Barry. Hello to Ricky as well. He says it's perfect now. Um, Gordon, MM3 GQT, who's just purchased an IC7300 from us. It's working brilliantly. Fab to hear it. Uh, we do not have one in use. We did on Thursday, but I wasn't in yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Andy, M0CFM asks, how were the donuts? Very nice, thank you. I may have had one too many. Um, if we're completely honest with you. Uh, right, Dale says, if you go far from the mic, you're hard to hear. Okay, fine. We'll chuckle over that. All right, let's have a look. Let's get back to business. Also in stock uh, from Sirio, it is antenna. I was going to say it's antenna season. It's not really. We class spring as antenna season. But it is the time of year where all the leaves are falling off the trees and therefore if you're going to erect anything in a tree, it's a lot easier. That's my top tip, uh, as uh, I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, but we also have in stock the Serio uh, 4 meter. This is the CX468. These have been around, or uh, a version of this antenna has been around for absolutely donkey's years. Uh, a company called Decom made one back in the day. Um, this is pretty much as, as 4 meter antennas go, oh, by the way, because they are. And um, vertical, basically, it's, a, it's kind of an end-fed dipole, essentially. They work nicely. They, we always suggest with these uh, that you pop a little bit of sealant around the bottom, uh, just to aid in waterproofing them. But what can you say? Four meters, they impact all of the, um, the low band VHS stuff. So if your application, if you're not amateur, and your application is outside the four meter amateur band, these will tune anywhere between uh, 68 and 73 megs, I believe. Uh, so you can uh, tune anywhere in that range. 
So that's the Serio uh, CX468. Completely lost my trailer for now. Uh, and finally, in, in stuff new that I just want to bring you and tell you that we still got in stock a little while ago. Remember, may remember Tony and I did a, a little bungee special. We still got the bungees in stock. Um, I said in that video that I was going to purchase a pack, and I did. Uh, so, and I've been using these uh, with uh, a DX Commander pole, um, just easily going around a pole or um, maybe using two of them. Sometimes that's necessary. So I'll give you a link to up together. Um, and then you can easily get round your pole um, or whatever it is you're going around and attach nice and securely. And in fact, I have one um, just over here because as we did in the, um, in the video where we talked about the bungees, uh, we attached uh, a DX Commander pole to our little cupboard here. So I've done that again today, but instead of the 10 meter pole, uh, I've grabbed a 12 meter pole, um, which um, may be coming home with me this evening. Um, the 12 meter DX Commander pole, it's the uh, mini nebula. Sorry, hang on. No, there'll be some people who watch Callum here. Nebula. Um, and um, it's the, his mini nebula pole. It's definitely a, a good buy uh, and a fantastic value for money, I think. A 12 meter pole, a really, really thick diameter um, to each section. Uh, let's have a quick look, see. Uh, David asks, got any Comet GP9 antennas? I believe Comet's on the way, uh, so do keep your eyes on the website for Comet. Um, Dale says, uh, is my Dream Radio DX5000 still on the shelf? Yes, come to that in a minute. Um, let's have a look at what else. Uh, Winston says, hello from church, hello to you. Um, and don't know why they stopped making the DX5000. Obsessions of parts more than anything else. Right, let's have a quick look around uh, the U section as we always do on a on a Saturday afternoon. Afternoon to Steve, who just said, oh, just okay, thanks very much. Uh, let's, try, let's start with the DX5000 because we do have one just sat down here. So this is the 5000D, so it's the slightly earlier model, but still um, still a 5000 in the day. Presented here with the uh, SM5000. 2250, it is boxed, it is complete with everything you'd expect. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you ring me this afternoon and you want to have a DX5000, I'll ship this one free of charge. Uh, so you get the DX5000 with that SM5000 station monitor, 2250 delivered to your front door, UK mainland. Uh, and uh, you could have it in your hands on, well, on your bench. You probably will not on your hands, it's a bit heavy. On your bench uh, by Tuesday. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, FTDX 5000D with SM5000. Uh, slightly more expensive, uh, IC7610. Uh, this is, of course, ICOM's latest and greatest SDR. I suppose I'm going to use the word flagship uh, with that large color touchscreen. Dual receive, HF and six meters, 100 watts out the back. Uh, very nice for this. If you um, team it with a, a RC28 remote encoder, you can have that in order to do the, uh, uh, the VFO control on the sub receive. They work great as a contest station in that regard because. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about you, but in my local club, we've uh, got a, an old FT-1000, which is all right, but it, um, the remote encoder for the sub-receive is, is a little sort of knob just here, uh, which is okay, but it's, uh, it's quite nice to have a, your own dedicated VFO, uh, so this enables you to do that. Um, yeah, fully SDR, that nice colour touchscreen with the Spectrum Scope, uh, 2499 boxed and complete. Uh, you may have seen the video that I did a little while ago about the, the ATAS and uh, you'd have seen me use my old trusty FD857. Well, if you just want HF and 6, then go look no further uh, than the FT891. This one presented with the YSK and I want separation kit. So if you do want to mount it in a vehicle, uh, you're going to have everything you need. You may just want to add an external speaker. Uh, but these do work with the ATAS as well. So if, you, if you're going to take one mobile, add an ATAS and you'll be set to go. Uh, this one has a boxed with that uh, YSK891569. Um, FT450D in stock as well, 525 for that one. Uh, TS590SG999, uh, they're now underground on the U section. That's not happened ever before. Uh, this is, of course, Ye uh, you can see this Kenwood's uh, best version of their most popular uh, small base station portable, I suppose you could also take it. 100 watts out the back on HF and 6. These are absolutely brilliant on CW. Work really nicely on SSB and also data modes too. Nice and easy to set up on data modes. Gary's favorite radio for data modes. Um, 
And when he was set a few up, he set a number up, including the 705, the 7300, and his favourite for, um, for FT8 and the like was the FT, uh, TS 590 SG, rather. Um, yours for just 999 boxed and complete. Staying with Kenwood, a TS 990S. This is Kenwood's flagship. Dual received 200 watts HF and 6 meters, uh, with again that large uh, touchscreen uh, with that spectrum scope and that mini TFT as well. We always love that one, given that sort of retro film. Uh, yours for just 3999, you're going to save yourself well over a grand over what you'd pay a brand new. And of course, coming from us, it's been fully, fully tested and inspected and comes with a full three month warranty too. Uh, FTDX 3000, it's the baby 5000, we've mentioned it before. Uh, this one, no box, but it does come with the microphone and the DC cable. Of course, the manual is available as a download free from yesu.com. 1045 gets you that one. Again, in good condition. A couple of minor marks I'm just seeing on the top there, but it's, it is a used radio. It is fully functioning, though, of course, to say, being fully tested by our workshop. Across the top shelf, SP21 and an SP23 for Micom, uh, and also an SM20. If you've got a, something like a 7300 or a 7600 or 7610 or... Any Icon radio that's got that eight pin round Foster connector, uh, that will work brilliantly with it. Another SP21, uh, Uniden UBC125, if you want a, a compact handheld scanner, uh, 125 is a good shout to, to just 99 pounds. Uh, SEU17 for hooking up things like the um, uh, FT450D um, and others for red data mode, uh, a good option there. Uh, a Uniden UBC370 CLT, of course it's their sort of desktop scanner. Uh, scanner receiver, IC718, HF, uh, HF, just, no, six meters on this, is it just HF, um, 100 watts out of the back, 499. Couple of uh, MFJ units, got an MFJ tuner, the 994, uh, which I believe is up to 300 watts, uh, no, 600 watts SSV, 300 watts CW, uh, fully automatic. With the nice thing about the MFJ is you get like really nice sort of analog meter, which makes seeing the FWR nice and easy as opposed to things like the LDG, which are good. Uh, but you don't get the LEDs. I've also got a 1026, the noise cancelling unit. Uh, DP Megacast, complete with um, power supply and microphone. Both of those things are normally an option. Uh, another unit you know, scanner, the UBC 30 XLT. If you just after something for the air band, um, 30 quid, what can you, you can't really go wrong with that. A uh, little BNOS um, power supply, 75 pounds. Uh, and I'll tell you, we mentioned that uh, Sun SDR2 Pro earlier, and I mentioned the Zygo XPA125B. Well, we've got to use within 425, uh, sort of 5 to 10 watts in, it'll give you 100 watts out. Uh, perfect for use with things like the 817, uh, the IC705, and of course the Zygo uh, X5105 as well. Uh, that's uh, pretty much our use set. We've got a BT1500, I'll quickly mention, and also DL2K. Um, and that is, a, oh, and also I'll mention last final thing, uh, MFJ918, the uh, tuner extender. So if your um, automatic tuner doesn't quite tune your antenna, whatever it happens to be, you can knock in a bit more inductance and that will, uh, should help uh, your, uh, your tuning go. There you go, right, that's pretty much our U section for today. I'm gonna pop you back there. I wasn't quite in the right position, was it? You, you, you were more over there last time. There we go. Uh, I'll pop you there and I'll, I'll read a couple of comments. I saw a few of them uh, flick through as I was uh, going around. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look, see. Uh, Dan says, hi, hi from East Java. I don't know you, Dan. Um, hello from Clint, M0OXF. If you're going to Oxford with a name like Oxford Shortwave Lock. Hi, Clint. Um, and Dale also saying that the FTDX 3000 is my favorite. It's a lovely radio, it really is. I think the 3000 is kind of underrated now. They are still available new. So if you are after an FTDX 3000 with a full three year warranty, they are still available new. We have still got some. They are now end of line, but there are still a few left sort of in the pipelines. Uh, so if you are after one, uh, do get your call in sooner rather than later because they won't be here forever. Um, but uh, you can still get one. So with a full three year warranty. And of course, at the moment, uh, through our partner at Retricare, we're offering uh, pretty, pretty much any radio on the market, you can extend the warranty. Uh, so if, uh, for instance, with Yaesu, you normally get a, a three-year warranty, you can extend that to five years for an additional 94.95. You have a full five years of, well, let's be honest, a full five years of you know, peaceful operating without the, uh, the, the worry. 
that uh, that something's going to go wrong because if it does you get it back to us and we repair it for you on site in our factory authorized workshop there we go right um i'm going to cut this short unless any other final questions um uh, oh hang on there i say that uh, any advice for an swl antenna uh, something stealthy um there are there are options we do an swr antenna kit um on our so if you Search for, um, for SWL on our website. You'll find it's composed of a 49 to 1 banner, uh, or unknown, as well as 50 meters of wire. Now, the thing is with that setup, you don't necessarily need, if you're just receiving, you don't necessarily need to have that full 50 meters and you can cut that short. But you could run that just around the top of your fence, if you've got a fence, around the gutter of your house, if you've got that. Um, that's a, a nice, easy way. Um, without tuning it, you don't want to be transmitting up it. Uh, but for receive, that'll work very well. Uh, jolly fine quality, uh, says afternoon. Hello to you. Um, he says a bit late, but uh, watch the replay. Yeah, no problem at all. Do, uh, do please watch the replay. And in fact, if you haven't already done so, do watch the video that uh, the Martin and I did yesterday. Uh, we go through a number of products, including the new Sanjin, or in one of the new Sanjins. Uh, we're now the UK uh, dealer distributor for, for Sanjin products. Uh, the, uh, the ATS 909 is a fantastic um, sort of receiver. Uh, if you're in the market for uh, an all band, what are they calling world radios? I think they used to call them, but basically AM, FM, long wave, short wave, uh, medium wave as well, of course, uh, and also SSP. And they work brilliantly. They come with a little wire that you can roll out and plug in. It works fantastically. They've also got a number of uh, DAB radios as well. They've got a, a car DAB adapter, uh, which unlike others on the market comes with pretty much everything you need, including an antenna to stick in your windscreen. Uh, and they work. So if you don't, if you have a car that doesn't have DAB built in, uh, you can get this DAB adapter from us. Uh, it's called the GoTune. If you have a look on our website for GoTune, um, and it will essentially receive DAB retransmitted onto FM, as well as also having the Bluetooth on board. So if your car doesn't have Bluetooth, you can use that as your Bluetooth uh, interface as well. It's uh, it works really nicely, uh, and it is really rather uh, handy. Um, and they've also got a couple of um, battery powered DAB radios in their survivor range. One is a camo color, one's a yellow color. Um, again, they work really nicely. They've, all, they've got a solar panel on top. You can charge them via USB. They've also got a winding handle on the back as well. So if you're one of these people who likes to go off and sort of off grid, but want to take a, uh, a, a, a DAB radio with you, it's the absolute perfect thing. Nice and rugged. Um, in fact, there's one in the cabinet just there. So. Um, there you are. I'll pick you up and uh, just show you that. There you go. That's the uh, that's the survivor in the camo colour. As you can see, it's got. A, uh, it comes in a nice camo bag as well. The uh, camo one. The yellow one doesn't, but the camo one does. Solar panel on the top. Got a USB input on the side, um, and they uh, they are just fantastic. Uh, Damien two e zero x sorry T X E uh, says that the U shelves behind are looking rather empty. You're right, Damon. In fact, uh, we'll do our weekly plug that if you have um, anything in your shack that you're looking to get rid of, uh, do give us a call 0345 230599. Of course, we're always offering uh, good uh, prices on all, uh, on all good, clean, used equipment. Uh, use it at a part exchange. Maybe you're looking in the market to upgrade. Uh, you've got your eyes on that radio that uh, you're not quite there. Well, maybe your current radio is, is the answer and you can uh, trade that in, add a little bit more maybe, and then just... Uh, get yourself into something else. Uh, we, of course, always offer top prices, uh, so do give us a call 03452300599 or sales at hamradio.co.uk. Uh, let's have a look see. Uh, what are the blue things on the top shelf? Are they for adults only? Uh, that's the, that's some of the array solutions, that's some of the stack match. If you have an old website for stack match, do a whole range of, uh, of items. Uh, array solutions, but um, stack match is really candy for, for interfacing different antenna systems, different radios, clever little system. Uh, Sid, EI3.
Right. What happened there, ladies and gentlemen, was that my lavalier mic died. So we're just on the um, just on the internal microphone. Uh, but so that's the top section of the of the DX Commander poll. Um, and I better cut it short because I'm not sure whether you can hear me or not now. Uh, but uh, but there we go. Um, right, I am going to cut it short. That's the top section of the poll. Uh, I'm going to say seven three. Thanks very much um, for um, for being with us. Um, yeah, the deck audio is back. Yeah, I've, I've, I've unplugged the microphone. In fact, I'm just going to take off the lovely little mic while we're doing this. Um, thanks very much for, for watching. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, do stay tuned because, of course, we've got a new something for the weekend video uh, next Friday. It's coming Friday, um, where we'll have some more products for you to show, or maybe something else. Would have to stay with us in order to, to find out. Uh, but we will see you there. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube as well. Um, uh, hit subscribe. Also hit that sort of bell notification icon, and you'll be notified when we're going live or when we're updating a video, or uploading a video. And you'll see us. Um, until then, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye.